That way I'm just gonna full screen. Then here on the top, you can see the one uh, button where it says add. So just hit that, then go to mesh, and here we have some different shapes. And you can actually choose whatever shape you want, but I'm gonna choose cube. So here's a cube. And uh, if, if we now move around the camera, you can see that it isn't uh, centered on the cube. But from the last tutorial, you should have, you should know by now how to uh, maneuver your center of camera. So I'm gonna press shift and middle mouse button and drag my center to the new cube. And yeah, I'm gonna make some corrections. And now, now it's just about in the center. So, uh, to select different objects, use the right mouse button, like that, so we can go back and forth. Make sure that uh, the new cube is selected now, then press tab to enter edit mode. And uh, now from edit mode, we uh, want to activate the mirroring tool, which will make us mirror uh, one side, the one side that we want to edit. But uh, to activate that, we first should uh, split the cube in, in two. Uh, and that's done by pressing Control R. So if I hold Control and press R, then this uh, purple thing appears. So I'll uh, put it on the top uh, alignment, like that. And now if you move, you can move it to the sides now. But we want it in the middle. So if you just hold your mouse still, and uh, yeah, you can release your mouse. Uh, and then press zero and enter at once because now we will it will have moved to location zero which is in the middle and also with enter you accept it so uh, now we have uh, divided it in the middle and we now want to delete the right side so i'm going to change to surface mode and then choose this only this uh, right this right area. Then I'm gonna delete it with the delete button. Or you can also go to this left uh, the left side here and press delete, and then vert vertices. Um, so now we have just half a cube. Or yeah, it looks like a box. But uh, to then mirror it, we must go to the left uh, here on the screen. Uh, where it, there is uh, to the what's it called properties window where uh, we can see a lot of different functions and the function we are going to use is the uh, tool or I don't know what that actually is but yeah uh, the one that lets you add a modifier so uh, go to that uh, function and press add modifier now we just need to go down to the mirror, which is in the generate folder or what, yeah. So just press on mirror, mirror and now it's mirroring the x-axis. But the x-axis is the red one, I think, which makes uh, its mirror to be inside of itself. And we, we don't want that, we want it to be uh, on the opposite side. So just uh, unselect the X axis and activate Y instead. Because Y is the green one. We want it to mirror in the green direction. So now everything we do in this side will be applied to the other one. But then if I should change back to edge mode, then if I Oh, uh, uh, do like this, it will open up a gap and uh, I don't want that to happen because uh, yeah, it's uh, just breaking the shape. So I'll just go back to something, yeah, we can let it be open now, but I'll activate clipping in the options of the mirroring and uh, that basically does so if I uh, collide these two edges and then release then they will always be merged. So I can't split them now until I have uh, removed clipping maybe. 
but uh, I want them to be merged now. So that's good. So now everything we do on the right side or on the left side will be applied to the right too. Uh, I also want to make the bottom one because if if you want to make a sword, then you need the bottom one to also uh, be mirrored. Because yeah, I'll show you exactly why a sword. Yeah, uh, uh, you should maybe already know, but um, yeah. So now uh, I have divided it with the control R, which uh, splits it in half, and then I'm going to remove the bottom. So I'll just select all the edges here, then press delete vertices. So now we have a very basic shape here. And then just press the Z axis. So now we have mirrored that side too. So whatever we do here will be applied to all of those axes. We can even do an X, but uh, not for a sword in this case. So I'm going to keep it like this and then press Ctrl R and I'll, uh, split it in this top mode. Actually, if I, in, before uh, clicking, uh, if you press a button or a, a number, maybe two or three, uh, three in this case, then you can divide it into multiple parts. So in this case, I'm going to divide it in three parts and then hitting. Now we can choose where it's supposed to be and I'll press zero and enter. So now we have a lot of uh, accesses to use. So to make a sword, I'm going to stretch it this way. And actually I want to subdivide this because uh, it will look pretty crazy if I do something wrong. So then I'll press A until I have marked everything and then press Control T. Uh, so now everything is made into triangles and uh, then I can basically make my sword shape however I want. Oh, uh, here, I, I want to put this down here, but that, uh, the connection between those two, these two uh, edges make it look weird. And uh, to uh, uh, remove that or, uh, yeah, to, to remove that, I'll use knife tool again and basically make a cut from this one to the bottom one here and then uh, so that so that I can uh, move both of these down because now it isn't in the way anymore but then I might I maybe want to merge or remove one of these uh, edges so if I want uh, this one to be located uh, inside that one or be merged then I just need to uh, have both selected and also make sure which one was the first one and last so if I first select this one and then select that one and then go here to the left where it says merge and then choose at last then it will uh, merge at the point where the last one is last one I selected. So now I uh, can uh, continue making a sword very easy here or uh, kind of easy. Something like this and then yeah basically it's uh, just drag some stuff here and there Oh, and uh, maybe I want to make some more details then I can use the knife tool fast like this and make sure you can also use the B button if you press B and then hold it from one point then you can drag one square which will uh, add or which will uh, select everything all the edges inside so now I have selected all of these edges then I can press S and scale them up or down I'll scale them up in this case and maybe put them like that. So yeah, that's basically how you make a sword in Blender. So I hope you learned a lot of this from this tutorial. And uh, for, to watch more, 
Ch then check out my other ones. Uh, yep. Yeah. So see you later. Goodbye. The next tutorial will be about texturing as well as the UV unwrapping method. So see you later. Goodbye.